Small rigs require a lot of creativity in the use of space and of course minimizing and making sure that everything kind of does a, a dual duty. So when we were in Baker City it was really nice to be able to tour uh, three other rigs and see how they're using their small uh, camper vans and how they're utilizing their space. The first rig that we're going to tour is Mark and Mark travels with his two dogs and uh, in a, 20, a 2008 uh, Pleasure Way Ascent and uh, he is a submarine veteran and says that he's used to living in small spaces. Like that. Okay, now it's recording. That's why I'm kind of my back up here. Okay, so let's actually let's. Uh, who knows where to start? You've done so much in here. I mean, really, this is a, so. This is a 2008. Uh, eight. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so it's quite a bit different design from the 2018 that we have. So it's 10 years difference. Um, some things uh, have changed for the better. Some have changed for the worse. I think. Uh, but oh, but first I'm, I'm noticing. Okay, you have a camera back there. What the heck is that uh, camera? That's my security camera. In, inside? Uh-huh. Okay. I, uh, it's the same setup that I have at home, so I can watch what's going on at home, and then when I leave the dogs in here and go someplace, I can monitor what they're doing here awesome. on my phone also. But you have good dogs. They don't chew anything nah, up, probably. No, they, they just lay down here and wait till I show back up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now... Um, Mark Solar, you probably are wondering where the uh, controller is. So where's the controller for your solar system that you added? Well, the controller, I'm not, I'm not an electrician, but as far as I understand, the controller is the thing in here that tells me everything that it's doing, how many watts, mm -hmm. volts, everything it earns and makes. And uh, By the way, who installed this system for you? Um, Infinity Coach in Sumner, Washington. And would you recommend them? Oh, yes, highly. They've done all... I went through three phases of improvements over the past year that I came up with for this to do what I wanted to do, which is basically uh, boondocking, dry camping, off the grid. And I laid everything out and they worked with me for a whole year going through every of the three phases to get everything done the way I wanted it so I could use this in the way I wanted to use it. And I, I couldn't have been luckier to have found them. Yeah. That's great. That's awesome when you find somebody. It's like you treasure them. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's rare. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so your bed, uh, as we noticed when we toured the garage, you we have storage kind of under the sofa area, yeah. but yours comes deeper, which actually in many ways makes more sense because then you can put more stuff in the garage and it's not just <laughs> hanging out there. Yeah. Um, but, uh, okay, so uh, let's, oh, you look at, you've installed these levels everywhere. Does yeah. That, do, you, do you find they work? Because I tried one and it didn't seem to work very well for me. Yeah, they've, Is it they've been real well. Okay. They've, they've been real good. I, uh, I also use these braces here mm -hmm. to hold everything in and they work fine. I've got them in the uh, refrigerator and in all the bins here. It just holds things back, keeps them orderly. And where I put them. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of food in there. You got—I mean, you have a lot of room for food. Where that's where my clothes would be. Oh, well, that's <laughs> where I, I put there are that. Two of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this closet, which the newer the newer yeah. rigs don't have, uh, you've converted that over to right. from a just, hanging closet to just from here storage. down used yes. to be just a hanging yes. closet. The bottom here drops out for clothes that are longer. And, Did your uh, solar guy? put this in? No, actually this was all part of the original. The only thing mm. that got changed is the unit that was up here, which okay. was a, a real small inverter that only mm. operated the television set. Okay, interesting. And then you've got the lagoon table. Yeah. But you changed the size of the table itself? Well, it didn't come with the table. Oh, the previous okay. owners lost everything. And so oh. I went, to, I had a, a, a Rubbermaid bin at home that was this size. I took the lid off and said that'd be the perfect size for the table I want in here. And I went and got a big piece of birch and had a friend who did woodworking cut it out, sand it, and then I stained it. And then I got my, how do you say that? Lagoon. Lagoon table set up. I had to put a, a, a block against this just so the bar here would pass by the, the cushion. 
Okay. But then this is just fine. I can sit here, work on the computer. I can still get around the edge here, and the dogs can get up here and sit with me if they want. And then when I get ready to break it down, all I do is loosen under here the tightener, pop the top off, then loosen the stem here and pull that out. And I'll put these up front, and then I can just flatten this down mm -hmm. and have my bed. Where's the board that fits between these two little bits? I just put that right over here. Okay, it's a tiny little thing. Yeah, just a little thing okay. here. And the cushion that goes in there? There is one here and then the one here. Oh, okay. Do you find they slip off? Nope. Nope? Okay. I've got a queen size super bag that I put down here. And who yeah. makes it, is it, the brand is Superbag, is that yeah. right? the Superbag, the okay. sleeping bag, yeah. queen yeah. size. And uh, I put it on here as if I'm going to sleep with my head here and feet here. But to have the room I need, I go diagonally with my head in this corner yes. down yes. here. So that gives one dog all this area on this side, <laughs> and another dog gets all this area on this side. And we've come to an agreement where everyone has enough room to sleep. <laughs> and does the dog always take the same position? Yep, she always has this corner, and Katie always has this corner. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Anything? Uh, do the microwave? Do you use it? Oh yeah. 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 I. I now that I've got everything solar, that's yeah. no problem. Um, and your fridge? Uh, what? Any problems with the internal temperature on the fridge? Uh, the warmest that it's got, I believe, is like forty in really hot weather and I think it might have gotten a little hotter once but that's because I I was learning that you can't pack everything in or mm -hmm. you, you think yeah. you can mm -hmm. so I well, just you're, uh, you're very lucky more. I think they made better refrigerators <laughs> 10 years ago because that's not been our experience okay. um, how about the um, bathroom bathroom what have you done okay. in there well, switch places <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got two dogs a border collie which can get really wet and oh yeah soaking wet and uh, so, being in a submarine, I'm used to cramped spots, <laughs> <laughs> but this is even more cramped. <laughs> oh, really? Than a submarine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I got a, a chrome wine rack here from uh, Amazon. I screwed that in and I rolled my towels up it's and perfect. I store all my towels That's there. That's awesome. That really is. And then, you, of course, your, your shoe I, bag on the I back got of the this. door. Um, you can get these at different mm -hmm. widths and stuff, mm -hmm. and I got this, and everything everything you see here came out of bins that was taking up space in the cabinets. Yeah. And then, of course, you got also yeah, all more of the section, yeah. Mm -hmm. Since I and don't you... use this to shower in, yes. I've uh, Same screwed these things in yes. because the suction cups yeah, they don't fall off. last. Yeah, they every Whenever we leave on a trip, I resuction them. <laughs> yeah. It seems to be once a trip. Yeah. yeah. But this has worked great. And then it's, this, this is killer light for a video. But uh, uh, tell us first about this spare tire, because this is not the original spare tire no, that the, came with this vehicle. The original Continental spare tire that came with my 2008 Ascent was a backbreaker. It, it lowered all the way down just a, probably six inches off the ground. And the thing must have weighed 80 pounds or more. Mm -hmm. And I had to lower that all the time to get into this side of the rear of my uh, ascent. And after doing that a few times, I had to pull it up, do a, a dead weight lift, hold it while I'm pinning everything in so it doesn't come back and collapse on me. Yeah. And I did that a few times, and that was one of the first changes I made on this thing. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people have that same, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I wanted to take a spare tire with me because I go where few travel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't want to be someplace where uh, AAA would say, I'm sorry, you're not on any right. road we know. Yeah, yeah. But you still have, are these basically the stock tires? Yeah. Okay. They were pretty new when okay. I bought them okay. or when I got the rig. So I looked all over and the only thing I could find for a while were uh, ones that didn't fit a Sprinter. Mm -hmm. And then I finally found this from Owl Industries that is made specifically for Sprinter vans. And it just slides right in to the bolts for mm -hmm. the doors you have. So mm -hmm. there's, it's just like you do it in a weekend easy. You're not yeah. drilling more holes. Uh, and this, you did it yourself. Oh, no. No, yeah, okay. <laughs> no. I, I, I've, I've done enough hard work. <laughs> and uh, this here where the, uh, this, ad, this part is, mm -hmm. that's where the uh, magnetic bump 
that would come around and attach yes. to that. Yes. So you're not putting holes in it. You're using yeah. what's already there. That's what I liked about it. Okay. <clears throat> well, first of all, I notice uh, I know that the 2005s did not have screens. Oh no, no. So uh, the, this was a pretty basic model. They they only had like the bat wing and the uh, the awning. Also done by. No, that came with it. Oh the... no! Oh no! But who did this? Oh oh yeah. All these improvements were done by Infinity Coach. Okay. <laughs> I, I I'm mapped sure you're every... out a few bucks. I'm, oh, yeah. yeah, but I had it done right. Yeah, I had it done good. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so what? What is back here? Well, this I used to have a lot more space back here until I went solar, and what I did is I went from one Coach battery, which was under the hood. Is it an AGM or a yeah, acid AGM. Or AGM? Okay. To three coach batteries, and they built a special compartment here to house all three of my batteries in it. And, and they're then each, um, they're each a hundred. Yeah. So I got three hundred amp hours okay. capacity, and then and and you also have a really nice place for strapping oh yeah. up your cord. The Velcro is my friend. Yeah, me, yeah, me too. <laughs> if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> but all this area under here which I had for a lot of storage is where my 2000 watt inverter went for my new uh, solar system and so all the changes I made on the interior mm -hmm. gave me the room I lost back here with this yeah because I, I need this to have airspace around right. it and the and the one difference that's noticeable from our 2018 is that the uh, the, the thing that makes the bed go up and down mm -hmm. it's narrower so you have more storage on the sides than we do, which makes a big difference. And of course, sorry, our batteries go across the back, so that we have very shallow. I think it might, might not even be 15 inches. So that's great. Yeah, that, that, that was nice to have this much mm -hmm. room to actually put stuff so I didn't have everything just piled inside, taking up the living quarters. Yeah, no, But I, I love these little lights here. Oh yeah, the little puck lights are yeah. really nice. Yep. They make they make things easier in the dining. They sure dining. do. Wow, that is really deep. We're, we're envious of your deep <laughs> garage. You have a three-car garage, we have a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, nice. We have, we have a carport. Yeah, we have a carport. <laughs> <laughs> out really um, yeah. So that is Mark's tour of van, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, and I appreciate you watching my channel because I know yeah. I can be quite boring, but uh, I got good ideas yeah. from it. I and just so, had to take your ideas for your make and year and adjust and, them yeah. for my different yeah. one. Yeah, I you know, I watch a lot of different kind of videos. I watch teardrop trailers and you know, any kind of RV because you can pick up ideas yes. and adapt them to whatever you have. So Really, it's just for inspiration, and don't do things the way I do them. Do them right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I had to sit the uh, room to do all the sewing that you have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> send something to me. I'll sew it. <laughs> um, but you. Know, but thanks a lot for doing this. I really appreciate it, and uh, and for hopefully inspiring other people to make some adjustments. So that's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. The next tour is with um, Lori, and her, she and her husband travel with their small dog. And they are in the next size up um, Pleasure Way. I think it's a TS Plateau TS, something like that. And uh, and uh, she has made not only the the curtains that that I had introduced on my channel, uh, but she added several uh, really good ideas for the use of space in her van. Hold on. So this is Lori from Long Beach, Washington. Long Beach, Washington. That's right. <laughs> Too many people here from Washington. There are Oregon. a lot. Yeah. 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 And, and what rig do you have? Um, Plateau TS. And you've and had it's a it. 2010. And you've had it for how long? Three years. Three years. Almost. Okay. Well, two and a half years. Okay. Two and a half years. All right. So I have done all the improvements that everybody else has done. <laughs> I've been gleaning off of everybody. But the kitchen, I've got this wonderful little garbage that you have, and it's been a lifesaver. I absolutely love that. Okay, now you and then, you know, the strip lights everywhere so that mm -hmm. there's... Um, light yep. and then mm -hmm. of course all the tension bars those are always amazing and then the faucet that we have is we had a short faucet that came out like this oh you couldn't even get a bowl under the faucet so now we have this nice faucet and it twists and wow. it does a spray or straight is that something you got from Amazon 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 everything 
Yeah. Hmm. And then this that little, looks just like our faucet except without this. Yeah. So, and then this is just a cute little add-on because it keeps the sponge. I used to keep the sponge inside the sink, mm -hmm. but it was always in the way. Yeah. And so you got now that from I, Amazon. I did. Yeah. And it just clips on. It screws on. Uh -huh. The little plastic screw, and you could have it this way. Sometimes I put, you know, an extra whatever oh, yeah. piece of fruit or whatever in there. A couple things you need to know about the about this wire rack. One is that if you put it down too low, you can accidentally hit the uh, water turn the water on on your faucet so I originally had it down here and I've moved it up a little bit higher but I really like the fact that it, it allows the sponge to dry out so that it doesn't get all stinky the other thing you need to know is that if you have a situation where your stove your cooktop is right next to the sink then you there's very little tolerance here so you have to make sure that you clear this uh, screw knob Oh, and for those people who asked what this is, this is just a little flashlight that we got at the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. And the reason I've kept it here is uh, because it has a battery inside. And uh, th this was just one of those giveaway things. And the battery works in some, uh, some of the other things that we have. And batteries can be quite expensive, so I just kind of keep it up there. And then, uh, yeah, and then of course this. Um, Towel and how holder. did you attach this with some screws. sticky tape or oh, screws? Okay, you screwed, screwed it in. Because I yeah, you really here. need to. Yeah. yeah. And then back here are my curtains, just like yours. Ah. <laughs> and I love them. And I can do mine either with a roll, or I can do the zigzag. Oops. Oh, over here and you I got can just, the yeah, hold them like a kind of like a Roman shade kind, kind of, of thing. like yeah. yeah. And then these things are really fun because you can all we never have a place to put your beverages oh, back yeah. here. So we have these, and then at night we put oh our glasses gosh, in I've there. Oh my I've never seen one of these. Who makes this? I can't read it without my glasses. It's got That's a, funny. It's got a, um, funny. Okay, little... I'm gonna have to look that up because yes, that is awesome that it. Yes. that it has and a it little and it holder. sticks right there on the side. Yep. So we can put everything in it at night that we need. Oh. So that makes that nice. You got that on Amazon? Did. Yep. Of course. Okay. Everything's on Amazon. And then the other idea that came from Lori was this little thing that sits between the wall and the bed I really like now this is not exactly like the one she had um, but you kind of get the idea and I really like it I can keep my airpods in here actually this will hold a, a small water bottle I can keep my airpods in here and my glasses and my other set of earplugs or ear things and it's just really nice to know exactly where they are in the middle of the night on Amazon. This cute little clip-on light. I know. Well, it's you cute, know, the, it? the lights are so bright. Yes, I know. And you so, want to get up at night. Yeah. Oh, and look at we've got it, that. Oh, you got different settings. Flasher. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. So, and then let's see. And then this is, you know, the humble road. The yes, one, I think just about shelf. everybody is, you know, yep. done this. Yep. And, and you got works. a little bit of foam here. I did, so we don't bump smart. our head. Very smart. And these little clips are going to hold the fleece blanket that I'm oh. going to put around yep. to keep the cold. Well, you should um, have Mark over here show you show you how he did his. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'll go do that for sure. Yeah. Okay, so, and I think, oh. and then the only other thing I did was the shelves in the closets in the back. I put in a shelf to divide it with, I'll oh, show you. Oh, yeah, yeah. These. I did oh, a little nice. shelf here, and so these are Ikea. They're soft-sided, and so we roll all of our shirts up yep. and our pants up because we did the, um, the bags, but they we'd open it up and they'd always fall on yeah, our head. Right. So this is really nice it because is. you can just slide it in and out, and mm -hmm. it's easier to see, mm -hmm. you don't have to unzip everything. Yep. How did you attach the shelf? Um, the little screws, right? a little L bracket. A little L bracket. Oh yeah, just like the ones I used. Yeah, yeah, awesome. But you have to be careful um, on here on the side where the bracket is oh, yeah. because the door oh, yes. hinge goes yes. back. So I had to do I cut it out, mm -hmm. but I had to put it cut it deeper because it went in much yeah. further than I thought it did. Did you use a jigsaw? I have a multi tool. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it was already like a Dremel it was already in place. Okay. Yeah, and so I had to upside yeah. down and sideways yeah. try to get that. So yeah. it's not really attractive on the inside, oh, but the edge looks okay. That. <laughs> so that's it. We forgot the dog bowl, so. 
So this For little... For her little schnauzer, is that what they It's a little schnoodle. A schnoodle. So it's just a little funny little piece together MDF. And it goes so in this little compartment right there. Right under there. And then I can just pull it forward mm -hmm. and he can eat. But this was that dead space. There was mm -hmm. nothing yeah. under there. Where does your dog sleep at night? Oh, here, which I have to figure out how to attach. So I want to be able to fold it yeah. flat to stick behind the chair. Oh, yeah. you, you so then a, this, you probably put a hinge on there. Yeah. So this goes here mm -hmm. and we have an instant two more square feet because he was up here and it was too tight between the seats. Yeah. And then I rigged up something on the, on the seat itself. I had a little platform on the seat and it was too tall. Mm -hmm. It was just awkward. Mm -hmm. So he likes being down here. And then finally is Jennifer and Jennifer and John that you saw in the Baker City Rally video. Um, they travel in their uh, 2018 Lexor and she had a, some really good ideas for how she kind of keeps her bedding in place. And, uh, and that was a really nice tour because that's the rig that we had thought we were gonna buy, but John didn't fit in the driver's seat very well although I've heard they've made some changes in that department. Okay. So. so watching Debbie's uh, videos and then other people's, there were things that I realized I needed to figure out before we took possession of our new camper van, new to us, it was one year old, and we had camped for 12 years using a pop-up camper, uh, a Euro van. So we already knew how to pack small, but then things came up that we, some people said, what do you do with this? heavy lid. So some people got rid of it and did a wood cutting board, but I like my cutting board to be a little larger, but I found I can stow it, this heavy lid, right underneath where the TV goes. Oh, yes. And it's nicely out of the way. Oh. Yep. The other thing a friend told us is to watch out for the dishes. They had this cabinet open up on them and they came cascading out. Oops, Ooh. this is messy right now because yeah. I had to move out of a cabinet. Mm -hmm. But this uh, pad acts as a drain board as well mm -hmm. as a cushion if something fell. And you can get those at Target, right? Yes, I've seen those we at Target. did. Yeah. And then I put a command hook on the back of the, of the bathroom door and when I'm not needing it, mm -hmm. and then I, my cooktop's mm -hmm. ready for cooking. Mm -hmm. Also, if I don't want to deal with all my dirty dishes right away, I have a dish pan that, that actually I, fits that sink. That actually fits that sink. The other challenge is underneath. Now, Debbie's vehicle has a wonderful galley area with uh, drawers, more drawers than we do. Oh, and only so have the one we drawer. have oh. the two drawers here. Oh, well, that's nice. So that was a little tricky figuring out how to organize things. And then I shopped around and I found a rack that I could feed around some of the tubing. And mm -hmm. then I keep some sealed bins here with our uh, food in it or lid, lids off and then I have a bottle bag I'll keep here and I'll put the upright things and I'll put an extra oh there's uh, a lot of space back there of paper towels back there yeah oh that's uh rather than to fill up the back with our bedding we do keep some extra bedding in here and it's pretty uh full at the moment because of that uh if it's really really cold out then we have a heavy down comforter these are our levelers if mm -hmm. the uh site mm -hmm. isn't level we want that accessible right away our dirty clothes bag we have wool blankets we have a cotton blanket if it's hot you just want mm -hmm. a lightweight cotton blanket with your cotton sheets and then i have more storage over to the left for overflow food and we put our pillows uh, into shams mm -hmm. so they're out of uh so they're you know not worried about the pillow slips getting dirty we'll toss these uh onto the driver's seat to get them out of the way in order to have it not be so hot with our heavier down we got a down blanket which is mm -hmm. great we kind of find uh like here it's been too warm so we've mm -hmm. not really needed it so when we're not, but these act as good bolsters when you're reclining to read. This vehicle. And, and first I gotta say, we are so jealous of their big oh, refrigerator. Yeah. That, does Go it, ahead. And does it work fine for you? And we have had no problems. It's absolutely oh, wonderful. It was our that. greatest nervousness. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> this bed, oh, okay. Virginia. So Debbie, Debbie's the one that gave us the idea she has a child's hammock, which she throws extra things in, but I realize this would be a way to solve our bedding issue. 
So this has our mattress pad and our top and bottom sheets in it. It also can roll up a lighter weight blanket, but right now I don't have those in there. So now I'm going to extend the bed. And Gina uh, gave us this tip down at the other Pleasure Way rally. She said these boards fit under here. Oh my God. Oh, and yours are a different size. Okay. And that way we don't have to store them in the closet. Yes. Even though they were stored vertically, they're yes. a little bit in the way. And then we keep the instruction manuals mm -hmm. for the vehicle. And John and I, we sort of double team it. So while I'm doing one thing, he's usually, usually doing the other. So he'll be moving things out of my way and putting in the platform and the bolster while I'm pulling out my jelly roll of bedding. And then I have two settings on my Velcro to try to get things to stow easily. Now I have to admit, when I was in high school, I took tailoring. And so oh. I considered, um, oops, I, this slipped out of my loop, but I'm just gonna stick yeah. it there. Um, so what I had seen on all of the videos was the difficulty and how to keep bedding from slipping. And so I took straps we had left over from hiking gear and added Velcro and then put a loop on the mattress pad. And then I put a Velcro uh, receiver, a fuzzy, and then teeth on the sheet mm -hmm. or vice versa. Yeah. And then a center point one. And these are hooked to the bar. Hooked to the bar. Now yep. you cannot raise and lower the seat once these are in place mm -hmm. because the bar needs to move. But what this does is you can make your bedding this actually can be drum tight and it can be so tight you'll actually tear it. So you mm -hmm. um, need to adjust to make sure you're not overly tight. Now one thing I found that would happen is once I would have this in place, sometimes that corner would slip off. So I added this strap, which I can release with a carbiner so I can wash the bedding mm -hmm. without the strap and I slip that under how interesting the first section here mm -hmm. so open the back doors so this these are the, the velcros are already oh, yeah. in place yep they're from, from the, the cushion yeah. mm -hmm. and so then I have a receivers and because this is such stretchy uh, fuzzy I had mm -hmm. to put some sheeting around it mm -hmm. so it wasn't catching it and then I took, and I'd have to lift up, I probably should have done this so you could see. Right. There's a little block of wood mm -hmm. that helps to hold the ottomans in place, and we just loosened the screw and we fed underneath it right. a strap that I s measured and sewed. And this is the hardest corner yep. in the whole vehicle to keep tucked. Yep. Yeah. And so this then attaches here. And then this would fall down and I couldn't find it and I'd be reaching yeah, yeah, for yeah. it. So then I, I took two earplugs, those foamy earplugs, yes. and I put them in as padding. Oh, yeah, yeah, to give you something to pull on. Yes. Yeah. All, all these ingenious women. Yeah. <laughs> and... Problem solvers. Problem solvers, absolutely. Yes. And then, again, I put... Actually, I just put the little Velcro here and put one next to it, mm -hmm. and again, yeah. here and next to it. So now my bedding, now it's bottom down. sheet, isn't gonna come up. So I got a rack, and so John's toiletry bag's here. Oh, He's taking nice. a shower. Mine's here. Biggest problem was getting that toilet paper in and out. And I had a little uh, elastic with, um, what do you call it, a uh, bungee cord, a mini mm -hmm. bungee cord. Mm -hmm. And so now I hang the toilet paper by it. And so oh, that helps. Oh. And I've got little backup towels. Uh -huh. We determined with the Eurovan camper never to take a bath towel. They're too big. Mm -hmm. So we use hand towels and washcloths. So we, we wipe off mm -hmm. with the washcloths, mm -hmm. wringing them out, and then we dry with the hand towel. Mm -hmm. we, we have extra sets yeah. in case yeah. we're not able to. It is nice to have a vanity. My extra That's detergent, good. my soap, the sewing kit, mm -hmm. my hair dryer, the extra towels. And here's our extra toilet paper. Just use an elastic mm -hmm. cord, mm -hmm. and here's two rolls of toilet paper. Oh wow! So that is a good way. To, so that I was able to use the uh, 
under the sink space. It's like every mm -hmm. space yeah. you want to use. Yeah, absolutely. And oh, and the wow. first aid she kit. Got a, she got a medicine cabinet. First aid kit. We never seem to use no. first aid. So. Yeah. Because I didn't think John would remember what it was. I put the big <laughs> red cross, and I still don't think he'll remember. Because he, it's down up yes. on a little command yeah. hook up, yeah. up underneath to get it up. Oh, here's our little waste basket for the dental floss. Because who wants oh, to yeah. walk out there and right. put it with your kitchen garbage? Right. So, right. and that. Okay. Well, you know what I'm surprised and is then you haven't utilized this little shelf over there. I don't need to. No, oh, that's nice. So, um, yeah. if our lights are on, then I do need I'll come in here yeah. to change if I don't have our windows closed. And oh, so yeah. I'll put my clothes here. Yeah. Um, nice. Finding stuff that was skinny enough, mm -hmm. that was hard. Yeah. And then some things were flying out. So yeah. then I. Oh, what a good idea! You cut little cut, plastic. I cut clear plastic. And this wow. one I had to um, put twisties on to hold it. Wow. That and I is thought a really these good are, idea. this was a mitt thing, and I thought I was going to use it in the sink, and it mm -hmm. didn't work, but mm -hmm. it holds these little yep. things. So. Great. Oh, and look, you've, you've used that for your washcloth. Yes. Little yeah. clip on things. Yeah. Okay. And then because oh, John, John showers in here. Um, no. Oh. Well, actually. Not very often. Okay. Actually, we'll shower outside. outside. Is, is yours a convection microwave? Yes. Okay. Well, I've never used the convection, so oh. I hook his towel here. If it's uh, oh. bad weather out, here is another clothesline I put up here, oh. so this can t come off. Oh yeah. And that way. Great idea. You know, if we can't hang up stuff outside. That's a great idea. We have those little. I think we have those little handhold things. I bet you do. Yeah. I have and it might be rattly here. I um find I like to keep. I have everything where in organized. Mm -hmm. I know where it is in the middle of the night in the dark. I can find it. So I usually keep my little light here, mm -hmm. which is on that rubber mat usually. What kind of light is that? Oh, Let's these see. are great. We love them. Um, oh, it clips onto things. Yes, it can clip. It's called a, is it called a mighty light? Mighty oh. bright. And, and then of course here is the idea that came from uh, Jennifer. And I have really liked this light. It's super, it is super flexible and it put, it has a very nice soft, kind of a yellowish, more of a yellowish, not that LED harsh, uh, harsh white light. Um, so that's just perfect at night. And then I put a carbiner back here. Oh. So I have my water mm -hmm. bottle here. I can put my cell phone and my glasses mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And that way, middle of the night, mm -hmm. I'm not yep. clickety clank on anything. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's how we do it. Awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks, Thank Jennifer. You. It's so fun. We watch so many of your videos, and I just can't believe that we're both at the same rally. No, we it's share great. Tips. It's, yeah, it's been so, fun. Because we learned so much from you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. I hope that gave you some ideas on how to util utilize the space in your van more efficiently or effectively. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.